My name is Tyler, and I'm from China. I just had my MSc Actual Science degree here in Hereward last year. And before I graduate, I thought, why don't take a further step in this course? So I accepted the offer for actuarial management, and that's what I'm studying right now. I choose to study MSc Actual Science in Hereward because the MSc here in UK have much shorter term compared to that in China. It only takes one year here, and it takes three years in back in China. So that's gonna save me a lot of time. And besides, um, I can get at most eight exemptions from the <coughs> sorry this year from this years of study, since the here what is accredited by the Institute and the Faculty of Actuaries. If I were to graduate this year with uh, my grade meeting some certain requirement, I think that's roughly 65 on average. I can get at most eight exemptions in CT molecule, and that's quite appealing to me. Well, uh, since Harold is accredited by the institution and faculty of actuaries, uh, if I study actual science MSc here in Harold, and after I graduate with um, and mark 60% average, I can get at most eight exemptions in CT courses. And there are 15 professional exams in FOA, and I can get at most eight of that through this year of study, so that's going to be quite appealing to me. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the courses I've taken last year in actual science. Since the actual science has much to do with mathematics, we had a lot of math courses during last year. Some of those are fundamental ones, like uh, stochastic modeling and statistics. And there are other math courses that related to the actuarial area, like life insurance mathematics and risk theory. In addition to the math courses, there are also courses that are related to the business environment, like economics or um, finance and financial reporting. I can't say that I quite enjoy studying these courses, but they are all very helpful. They all have a role to play in the FO exams. Well, uh, I like to recommend study MSc Actual Science in Hereward because of the exemptions you can possibly get from it. That's why I came here in the first place. And uh, of course, I'm pretty impressed by the professors here. Uh, that's I, what I didn't expect before I came here. Uh, they are all very warm-hearted and uh, glad to help you. And um, uh, many of them are uh, qualified actuaries, so they no doubt carry out very high-quality teaching. And um, in addition to the professor, the, the staff are very impressed. Uh, the best thing I've taken away during the last year of my studies, no doubt, going to be the eight exemptions. Yeah, I'm lucky enough to get all the eight exemptions. And uh, I have no doubt that the exemptions can help me get a better job in the future and demonstrate my knowledge and ability to my potential employers. And that's going to be really helpful. And of course, the learning experience, because um, uh, English is my second language. Um, the teaching, the way the teaching is carried out in here world is quite different from the way I'm familiar with. It's more flexible and uh, involve uh, a lot of discussions. So that's quite interesting. So the uh, studying in here world is no doubt going to be a quite different and interesting experience to me. For someone who's considering studying MSA Actual Science in Hero World, uh, I would recommend, since the course has much to do with mathematics, uh, that you do more practice on math courses. And that's, that's pretty important when you study math. And um, always try to keep up in the lecture. Sometimes when I miss one or two lectures, it's going to take longer time for myself to cover the content. And that's not quite efficient that way. So I guess uh, keeping up is pretty important in this course. And of course, the R code. Um, since I'm uh, kind of messed up in R code, uh, I realized the important, importance of the R code in actual science. There will be some R lab in, uh, during the term of actual science, and there are some computer labs in, in the campus. Um, but uh, I would like to recommend that you do more practice after the class. That's going to be really helpful. Well, I always regard Edinburgh as a good place to study since it's a very beautiful and 
peaceful city, a place I feel like I can quiet down and concentrate. And that's especially for her ward. It's um, and the campus is very very quiet here and um, uh, is pretty close to the city center. And uh, uh, most importantly, we got very little distraction here in the campus. So it's a uh, uh, Edinburgh is a good place to study, especially for here. What mm, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, before I come here, I I heard that it rains ten times a day, with each rain lasts for two minutes. And uh, after I got here, I have to say, I, I think I only see five rain each day on average. Uh, on average. And um, but uh, seriously, it rains a lot, and the rain, uh, the wind is really big. And I didn't see summer for an entire year. But I'm okay with that. It's cool. I never like summer. <laughs>